Certainly a chaotic scene inside the ring right now. Oh, oh double team! In the world of professional wrestling, where alliances are forged and battles are waged in the ring, the dynamics of tag team matches present a unique challenge. Again, this is a tag team matchup tonight. Of course, uh, it'll be a tag team fatal four-way at WrestleMania, which means the first team to gain pinfall or submission will become the champions. Amidst the spectacle and drama, there are instances where individual competitors face an extraordinary test of skill and resilience confronting not one, but two opponents simultaneously. On the miss, she has it on! And wait a minute! Whoa! Asuka swinging wildly. And now Lana face oh my God, no! This video uncovers the story of eight remarkable women who found themselves in the crosshairs of such daunting encounters. From iconic legends to rising stars, their journeys reflect the grit, determination, and unwavering spirit that define the essence of wrestling. Number one, China. On August 7, 2000, China made wrestling history when she stepped in for Eddie Guerrero in a six-man tag team match. The match began with Grandmaster Sexe and Eddie Guerrero as the legal competitors. Both wrestlers showcased their athleticism and technical skills, exchanging various holds and maneuvers. As the match progressed, Scotty Two, Hottie, and Perry Saturn were tagged in, adding their own unique styles to the contest. China, known for her strength and agility, eagerly awaited her opportunity to enter the ring. When she finally tagged in, the crowd erupted with excitement. China dominated the opposition with her power moves, including suplexes and clotheslines, while also displaying surprising agility for her size. The action continued to intensify as all six competitors got involved, with high-flying maneuvers, double-team moves, and near falls keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. Despite the odds being against them, China and Too Cool showed incredible teamwork and resilience. In the climax of the match, China delivered her trademark move, the pedigree, to Eddie Guerrero, securing the victory for her team. The crowd erupted in cheers as China, Grandmaster Sexay, and Scotty Too Hottie celebrated their hard-fought win. From her rise to prominence in the late 1990s to her groundbreaking achievements and lasting impact on the industry, China's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Born Joan Marie Laura, China shattered gender barriers and became one of the biggest stars of the Attitude Era. It was in 1997 that China joined the ranks of the rebellious stable known as D-Generation X. Led by the charismatic duo of Shawn Michaels and Triple H, D-Generation X was known for their controversial antics and rebellious attitude. China's addition to the group brought a new level of intensity and power, solidifying her place as a force to be reckoned with. With her muscular physique and unmatched strength, China stood out among her peers. She shattered gender barriers and proved that women could compete on an equal footing with men in the wrestling world. China's rise to prominence as a member of D-Generation X was marked by a series of memorable moments and groundbreaking achievements. One of the most iconic moments came at the 1999 edition of the Royal Rumble, a prestigious event where wrestlers battled to be the last one standing. China made history by becoming the first woman to ever compete in the Royal Rumble match. Her participation not only showcased her strength and athleticism, but also broke down barriers for women in the industry. But China's impact extended beyond the Royal Rumble. She proved herself to be a formidable competitor in both singles and tag team competition. In her tenure with the World Wrestling Federation WWF, China held several prestigious titles, solidifying her status as one of the most dominant female competitors of all time. One of her most notable accomplishments came in 1999 when she captured the WWF Intercontinental Championship. This victory made China the first woman ever to hold the Intercontinental title, a historic moment that showcased her ability to compete at the highest level. China's reign as Intercontinental Champion was nothing short of impressive. She defended the title against formidable opponents, both male and female, proving that she was a true trailblazer in the industry. China's physicality and in-ring prowess made her a formidable opponent, and her victories were a testament to her skill and determination. But China's success did not stop there. In addition to her Intercontinental Championship reign, she also held the WWF Women's Championship. At WrestleMania X7 in 2001, China made history once again by defeating Ivory to capture the Women's Championship. This victory solidified her place as the most dominant female competitor of her time and showcased her ability to excel in both singles and tag team competition. China's time and degeneration X was marked by controversy and headline-grabbing moments. She was not afraid to speak her mind and push the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in the wrestling world. Her rebellious spirit and unapologetic attitude endeared her to fans and made her a fan favorite. Number two, Lita. It's Lita! It's Lita! 
all of a sudden, here comes Lita. Lita, much like her, contemporary China, frequently found herself in the midst of tag team encounters where she faced the daunting challenge of being outnumbered in the ring. One notable moment took place at WrestleMania X8 in 2002. The match was set amidst a heated rivalry between Matt Hardy and Albert, with Trish Stratus aligning herself with Albert. Lita, who was romantically involved with Matt Hardy at the time, stood by his side as his tag team partner, adding an extra layer of personal investment to the contest. As the match began, Matt Hardy and Albert kick things off as the legal competitors. Both men engaged in a physical battle, exchanging strikes and grappling for control. The animosity between the two fueled their aggression, setting the tone for the match. As the match progressed, the teams utilized traditional tag team strategies, isolating their opponents and working together to wear them down. Matt Hardy and Lita demonstrated excellent teamwork, executing tandem maneuvers and using their chemistry to their advantage. However, during the climax of match, Lita had to face Trish Stratus and Albert who seized the opportunity, securing the victory and leaving Lita and Matt Hardy to ponder their next move. Though the outcome may not have been in their favor, Lita's performance at WrestleMania X8 showcased her unwavering spirit and undeniable talent. Lita's journey in professional wrestling began in the vibrant and passionate wrestling scene of Mexico. It was here that she first stepped into the ring and discovered her true calling. Under the guidance of various seasoned wrestlers, Lita honed her skills and developed a style that would set her apart from the rest. In Mexico, Lita immersed herself in the rich culture of Lucha Libre, a unique and high-flying style of wrestling that captivated audiences with its acrobatic maneuvers and colorful characters. She trained rigorously, pushing herself to the limit and learning from the best in the business. Lita's dedication and determination paid off as she quickly made a name for herself in the Mexican wrestling circuit. After gaining valuable experience in Mexico, Lita set her sights on the United States, where she would continue to make waves on the independent wrestling circuit. She traveled from town to town, showcasing her skills and leaving audiences in awe of her daredevil antics. Lita's high-flying maneuvers and fearlessness in the ring quickly caught the attention of wrestling promoters and fans alike. During her time on the independent circuit, Lita faced a myriad of opponents, each one pushing her to her limits and testing her resilience. She engaged in fierce battles against both male and female competitors, proving that she could hold her own against anyone who stepped foot in the ring with her. Lita's unique blend of athleticism, charisma, and determination made her a standout performer and a fan favorite wherever she went. What's Lita doing? What the oh! world? Oh my! Wow! It was during this time that Lita caught the eye of Extreme Championship Wrestling, ECW, a promotion known for its hardcore and innovative style of wrestling. Her high-flying and risk-taking style perfectly aligned with the ECW ethos, and she quickly became a fan favorite in the promotion. Lita's time in ECW allowed her to further refine her skills and gain exposure to a wider audience. But it was her signing with World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, in 1999 that would truly catapult Lita into the spotlight. The biggest wrestling promotion in the world recognized Lita's immense talent and potential, and they wasted no time in showcasing her abilities to the world. In high-stakes matches, Lita's unique blend of athleticism, fearlessness, and innovative wrestling techniques often proved to be her greatest assets. Whether she was squaring off against two opponents simultaneously or contending with interference from outside forces, Lita remained undeterred, always rising to the occasion with a fierce tenacity that captivated audiences worldwide. Number three, the Kabuki Warriors. Oh, Ice could take a baser stack it up, but Kyrie Sane is legal up over the top of the blockbuster. In the world of professional wrestling, alliances are formed, rivalries are ignited, and tag teams are born. And in April 2019, the wrestling landscape was forever changed with the formation of the Kabuki Warriors. At Hell in a Cell 2019, the Kabuki Warriors defended their WWE Women's Tag Team Championship by facing two wrestlers, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Inside the ominous structure, the teams engaged in a fierce battle for supremacy. The Kabuki Warriors showcased their lethal combination of martial arts expertise and aerial agility, keeping Bliss and Cross on their toes. However, Bliss and Cross proved resilient, using their teamwork and unorthodox style to mount a formidable challenge. As the match progressed, the intensity inside the Hell in a Cell reached a fever pitch, with near falls and high-impact maneuvers drawing raucous reactions from the crowd. Despite the challenger's tenacity, the Kabuki Warriors refused to relinquish their grip on the championship gold. In a shocking turn of events, Asuka unleashed her signature green mist on Nikki Cross, securing the 
victory in capturing the tag team titles. The Kabuki Warriors had become the new champions, showcasing their ruthless tactics and unrelenting determination. This formidable tag team, consisting of the fierce competitors Asuka and Kairi Sane, quickly made their mark in the WWE. Their wrestling journey began with a backstage appearance by the retired WWE wrestler Paige on the April 9, 2019 episode of SmackDown. Paige, recognizing the potential in Asuka and Kairi Sane, announced that she would be bringing a new tag team to the SmackDown women's division to challenge for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. A week later, Paige introduced the newly formed team of Asuka and Kairi Sane, dubbing them the Kabuki Warriors. The duo made their debut as a team on the April 16, 2019 episode of SmackDown, teaming up with Bayley and Ember Moon to take on the Iconics and the team of Mandy Rose and Sonya Devil. The Kabuki Warriors showcased their incredible chemistry and in-ring prowess, securing a victory in their debut match. This win marked the beginning of their journey towards tag team gold. The Kabuki Warriors didn't waste any time in making their presence felt. They picked up wins over local wrestlers on subsequent episodes of SmackDown, displaying their dominance in the ring. But it was their feud with the Iconics that truly put them on the map. The Kabuki Warriors engaged in a heated rivalry with the Iconics over the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. The two teams clashed in intense matches, each vying for the prestigious titles. The Kabuki Warriors proved to be a formidable force, showcasing their unique blend of technical skill and high-flying maneuvers. The Kabuki Warriors' journey took them to Tokyo, where they faced the Iconics in a series of live events. In a stunning display of athleticism and determination, the Kabuki Warriors emerged victorious, further solidifying their claim to the tag team titles. The Kabuki Warriors finally received their opportunity to challenge the Iconics for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship on the July 16, 2019 episode of SmackDown. In a hard-fought battle, the Kabuki Warriors emerged triumphant, winning the match by count out. However, due to the stipulation, the Iconics retained the titles. The Kabuki Warriors' journey took an unexpected turn in October 2019. They turned their backs on their manager Paige, viciously attacking her on the October 28, 2019 episode of Raw. This shocking betrayal marked their transition to a villainous persona, solidifying their status as one of the most formidable tag teams in WWE. Number four, Awesome Kong. Like a piece of chicken. Michael Cole is already crying. I see tears right there. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Karma, also known as Awesome Kong outside of WWE, made her memorable WWE debut at the Royal Rumble event in 2012. During the Royal Rumble match itself, which features wrestlers entering the ring at timed intervals, Karma made a dramatic entrance as a surprise entrant. Upon entering the ring, Karma immediately showcased her dominance by targeting and eliminating several male competitors like Michael Cole. Despite not officially competing in the match, her presence made a significant impact as she effortlessly dispatched multiple male wrestlers with her impressive strength and ferocity. Karma's appearance and dominance in the Royal Rumble match were particularly notable because it marked one of the rare instances where a female wrestler entered the traditionally male-dominated event and physically dominated male competitors. Her actions during the match solidified her reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the WWE, leaving a lasting impression on fans and fellow wrestlers alike. Kia Stevens, under the ring name Amazing Kong, burst onto the wrestling scene in the early 2000s. Her journey began in Japan, where she trained extensively and honed her skills in the ring. With her impressive size and strength, Kong quickly became a force to be reckoned with. Competing in various women's promotions in Japan, Kong showcased her dominance and captured multiple championships along the way. Her matches were nothing short of awe-inspiring, leaving fans and fellow wrestlers in awe of her power and agility. Kong's ability to hold her own against multiple adversaries was evident from the start. She fearlessly faced off against some of the toughest competitors in Japan, leaving a lasting impact with her hard-hitting moves and unmatched intensity. During her time in Japan, Kong also became fluent in Japanese, further immersing herself in the culture and earning the respect of both fans and fellow wrestlers. Her dedication and passion for the sport were undeniable, setting the stage for her future success in the wrestling world. After establishing herself as a dominant force in Japan, Kong set her sights on making a name for herself in the United States. In 2007, she signed with TNA and debuted as Awesome Kong, instantly capturing the attention of wrestling fans worldwide. Kong's arrival in TNA marked a turning point for the knockouts division. With her unmatched strength and intimidating presence, she quickly became a driving force in the promotion's women's division. Her matches were nothing short of spectacular, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. Oh! 
In 2010, Awesome Kong made a highly anticipated move to WWE, debuting under the name Karma. Her arrival sent shockwaves through the wrestling world, as fans eagerly awaited her dominating presence on the grandest stage of them all. Karma wasted no time in making her mark in WWE. She immediately made her presence felt by attacking various WWE divas, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. Her unmatched power and intensity made her a formidable opponent for anyone who crossed her path. Unfortunately, Karma's time in WWE was cut short due to a pregnancy announcement. Despite the setback, her impact on the industry was undeniable. Number five, the Iconics. Certainly a chaotic scene inside the ring right now. Oh, double team! In the world of professional wrestling, there are few tag teams as iconic as the Iconics. In 2019 at WrestleMania 35, the The I Iconics were tag teamed by two wrestlers and emerged victories. At WrestleMania 35, WWE's premier event, the I Iconics found themselves in a historic fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. The match was a highly anticipated affair, featuring some of the top women's tag teams in WWE. Among the competitors were Sasha Banks and Bayley, the reigning champion champions, who had been defending their titles with authority since capturing them earlier in the year. They faced formidable challengers in the form of Nia Jax and Tamina, as well as the experienced team of Natalya and Beth Phoenix. As the match unfolded, chaos ensued inside the ring, with all four teams vying for control and supremacy. The action was fast-paced and intense, with near falls and high-impact maneuvers keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. In a pivotal moment, the Iconics seized their opportunity to shine. With impeccable timing and cunning strategy, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce capitalized on a moment of vulnerability, executing a devastating maneuver that led to the pinfall victory over Bailey, one half of the reigning champions. As the referee's hand slapped the mat for the three count, the arena erupted in cheers as the Iconics emerged victorious, capturing their first WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Before they became the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce were known as Jesse McKay and Cassie Lee. Hailing from Sydney, Australia, these two real-life friends attended Westfield Sports High School and trained trained under the guidance of Madison Eagles. Their journey in the world of professional wrestling began in 2015 when they were signed by WWE's developmental brand, NXT. Debuting as a team on May 8, 2015, McKay and Lee initially struggled to find success. They were used as jobbers on house shows, facing defeat after defeat, but their determination and passion for the sport never wavered. In August 2015, they decided to rebrand themselves, adopting the names Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. This decision marked a turning point in their careers. On October 5, 2016, the iconic duo made their debut on NXT television. Their unorthodox approach to tag team wrestling and undeniable chemistry quickly caught the attention of fans and critics alike. Despite not capturing the NXT Women's Championship, the iconic duo left a lasting impact on the brand. Their time in NXT laid the foundation for their future success. Little did they know, their journey was just beginning. After making a name for themselves in NXT, the iconic duo, now known as the iconic Iconics were ready to take the main roster by storm. On April 10, 2018, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce made their highly anticipated debut on SmackDown Live. The Iconics wasted no time in making their presence felt as they attacked SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair, leaving her bruised and vulnerable. This shocking turn of events set the stage for a series of unforgettable moments in their wrestling journey. One of the key elements of the Iconics' success was their seamless teamwork and synchronization. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay operated as a well-oiled machine, anticipating each other's moves and seamlessly executing double-team maneuvers that left their opponents reeling. Whether it was their signature double suplex or their devastating combination attacks, the Iconics knew how to work together to maximum effect. However, what truly set the Iconics apart was their mastery of psychological warfare. Peyton and Billy were masters of manipulation, using mind games and trash talk to get inside their opponents' heads and throw them off their game. Their ability to disrupt their opponents' focus and cap capitalize on, their mental weaknesses gave them a strategic advantage that often proved to be the difference between victory and defeat. Their unorthodox approach to tag team wrestling and undeniable chemistry propelled them to this historic triumph, solidifying their place in wrestling history. Number six, Tessa Blanchard. Here comes this Tessa Blanchard submission with the kendo stick. And Jake Chris, look at, look at RVD, threw his shoulder, Jake Chris tapped out, Jake Chris tapped out, and Tessa Blanchard. 
On July 7, 2019, at Impact Wrestling's Slammiversary 17th pay-per-view event, Tessa Blanchard faced the challenge of taking on two wrestlers. In this match, Blanchard formed an unlikely alliance with Sammy Callahan and Tommy Dreamer in a mixed tag team bout against Ovi, Ohio vs. Everything, comprised of Dave Christ, Jake Christ, and Madman Fulton. The match was an intense clash, with chaos both inside and outside the ring. Blanchard, renowned for her toughness and skill, fought alongside Callahan and Dreamer against the formidable trio of Ove. Despite being outnumbered, Blanchard exhibited resilience and determination as she engaged her opponents head-on. Throughout the bout, there were numerous standout moments, including Blanchard executing her signature moves with precision, coordinating attacks with her teammates, and defiantly standing up to the onslaught of Ove. As the match neared its conclusion, a flurry of action ensued, culminating in Blanchard and her team securing a hard-fought victory. This match not only highlighted Blanchard's ability to thrive under pressure, but also showcased her versatility as a wrestler capable of excelling in both singles and tag team competition. It remains a memorable chapter in her career and an enduring moment in Impact Wrestling history. Tessa Blanchard's early wrestling career was nothing short of impressive. Born into a wrestling family with her father being the legendary Tully Blanchard and her grandfather being wrestling promoter Joe Blanchard, it was clear that Tessa had wrestling in her blood. She began her training at the age of 18, eager to make her mark in the industry. Blanchard's journey started in various promotions where she honed her skills and showcased her natural talent. Her athleticism and determination quickly caught the attention of wrestling fans and industry insiders alike. It wasn't long before she started turning heads and making a name for herself. In 2014, Blanchard made her debut in the wrestling promotion, NXT. This was a significant milestone in her career, as NXT was known for its high-quality wrestling and talented roster. Blanchard's debut match was a testament to her abilities, as she displayed a unique blend of technical prowess and high-flying maneuvers. It was clear that she had the potential to become a star. As Blanchard continued to compete in NXT, she faced off against some of the best female wrestlers in the industry. Her matches were always highly anticipated, as fans were eager to see what she would bring to the table. Blanchard's in-ring performances were captivating, showcasing her versatility and ability to adapt to different styles. However, it was in Impact Wrestling where Blanchard truly rose to prominence. In 2018, she joined the promotion and immediately made an impact. Blanchard's intensity and determination were unmatched, and she quickly became a fan favorite. Her matches were filled with high-stakes drama and jaw-dropping moments, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. Tessa Blanchard's wrestling journey has left an indelible impact on the industry, and her legacy will be remembered for years to come. Number 7. Candice LeRae And Candice off the second rope! Assisted Lion Salt! And the win! Teaming up with various partners throughout her illustrious career, Candice LeRae has consistently proven to be a formidable force in the ring. In January 2024, Candice LeRae joined forces with Indy Hartwell in a highly anticipated tag team match against former WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. The stage was set for an epic showdown as LeRae and Hartwell stepped into the ring to face their formidable opponents. With the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship implications looming large, the stakes were higher than ever for LeRae and Hartwell. From the moment the bell rang, LeRae and Hartwell showcased their impeccable teamwork and in-ring chemistry, seamlessly working together to combat the formidable duo of Green and Niven. Despite facing tough opposition, LeRae proved to be a resilient competitor, fearlessly taking on both Green and Niven with her trademark combination of speed, agility, and technical prowess. As the match reached its climax, LeRae found herself in the thick of the action, trading blows with both Green and Niven in a thrilling display of athleticism. With the support of her partner, LeRae refused to back down, unleashing a barrage of high-impact maneuvers in a valiant effort to secure victory for her team. LeRae began her wrestling journey in 2002, and it didn't take long for her to make a name for herself. She competed in various promotions, including Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, Combat Zone Wrestling, Total Nonstop Action, and Shimmer Women Athletes. These promotions provided the perfect platform for LeRae to showcase her skills and prove that she was a force to be reckoned with. One of the aspects that set LeRae apart from her peers was her willingness to compete in gender matches. While many female wrestlers at the time were limited to facing other women, LeRae fearlessly stepped into the ring with male competitors. This not only showcased her versatility, but also challenged the traditional boundaries of wrestling. Yeah. Candace, though. Yeah. They went for that spinning back fist. Got him. She's got him. Oh. Both plaques. Both plaques. Both plaques.
Throughout her early career, LeRae faced numerous challenges and setbacks, but her determination and passion for wrestling never wavered. She continued to push herself to new heights, constantly seeking out new opportunities and honing her craft. LeRae's hard work and dedication paid off when she caught the attention of WWE. In 2018, she signed with the company and made her debut for the NXT brand. This was a significant milestone in her career, as it provided her with a larger platform to showcase her skills and reach a wider audience. LeRae's accomplishments and championships throughout her career are a testament to her talent, hard work, and determination. Number 8. The Golden Role Models 2020, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match witnessed a showdown between the Golden Role Models, consisting of Bayley and Sasha Banks and the Iconics, made up of Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. This highly anticipated match was nothing short of iconic, captivating wrestling fans worldwide. As the match reached its climax, tension soared in the ring, with both teams showcasing their unparalleled athleticism and teamwork, defying their status as the strongest wrestling team in the WWE. Their hard-fought victory not only secured their reign as champions, Champions, but also added another remarkable chapter to their legacy in the world of professional wrestling. In the early days of their wrestling careers, Bailey and Sasha Banks found themselves in the developmental brand of WWE known as NXT. It was here that they would lay the foundation for their future success and become key players in a group that would revolutionize women's wrestling. Bailey and Banks, along with Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch, formed a formidable alliance known as the Four Horsewomen. These four talented individuals pushed the boundaries of what women's wrestling could be, showcasing showcasing their incredible athleticism, storytelling abilities, and passion for the sport. Their matches against each other were nothing short of legendary, with Bailey and Banks often stealing the show with their incredible chemistry and in-ring skills. The four horsewomen of NXT became a force to be reckoned with, elevating women's wrestling to new heights and demanding the respect they rightfully deserved. Respect, a match that showcased their resilience, determination, and unwavering passion for the sport. The impact of the four horsewomen and their contributions to women's wrestling wrestling cannot be overstated. They shattered glass ceilings, proving that women could deliver show-stealing performances and be just as captivating as their male counterparts. After their individual successes in NXT, Bayley and Sasha Banks decided to join forces and form a tag team that would take the wrestling world by storm. They became known as the Boss and Hug Connection, a name that perfectly encapsulated their unique dynamic and shared ambition. As the Boss and Hug Connection, Bayley and Banks quickly became fan favorites, capturing the hearts of the WWE Universe with their infectious energy and undeniable chemistry. They were not only partners in the ring, but also close friends outside of it, a bond that only strengthened their partnership. Their tag team journey officially began in July 2018, and it didn't take long for them to make an impact. They set their sights on the newly introduced WWE Women's Tag Team Championship, determined to become the inaugural champions. Their hard work and dedication paid off when they defeated Nia Jax and Tamina at Elimination Chamber in February 2019, making history as the first ever holders of the prestigious titles. Throughout their partnership, Bailey and Sasha Banks had their fair share of feuds and alliances with other wrestlers, adding layers of complexity to their story. They were not only dominant as a team, but also formidable competitors individually. However, all good things must come to an end. In September 2020, Bailey shocked the WWE Universe when she turned on Banks, betraying her former partner and ending their partnership. The split marked a significant turning point in their story, as the once inseparable duo found themselves on opposite sides of the ring. Their journey as a team may have come to an end, but the impact they made as the golden role models will never be forgotten. They left an indelible mark on the women's division, showcasing their incredible talent, unwavering determination, and the power of friendship. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on one of the boxes playing on your screen to watch more similar content.